There is an alternative way of finding this that is using Pythagoras rule. Let me just use it here. Alternatively, since it is right angle triangle, I might draw my right angle triangle here and theta. But what is given? We are given sine theta is equal to 3 over 5. And in sine, we are having sine is the same thing as opposite over hypotenuse. Meaning our opposite is 3, hypotenuse is, uh, sorry, not P, hypotenuse is 5. So opposite here is opposite and hypotenuse is 5. So the next thing to, 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 to find here is the adjacent. The adjacent is missing. So for we to find adjacent here, we apply what we call Pythagoras rule. Pythagoras rule says that hypotenuse square is always the same thing as opposite square plus adjacent square. Our hypotenuse here is 5. 5 square plus opposite, sorry, not plus, is equal to opposite is uh, 3 squared plus adjacent square. So this is 25. This will transpire. This is 9. It will transpire. We have minus 9, which is equal to adjacent square. So it, this imply our adjacent square is equal to 25 minus 9, which is 16. If you take the root of both sides, square will go. You are going to have root of 16, which is equal to 4. So this implies that our adjacent here is equal to 4. Just uh, having all the sides, just find your cos theta. Cos theta is always adjacent over hypotenuse. This is our adjacent and this is hypotenuse. We're going to have 4 divided by 5 and it's the same as this one. Also tan theta, number B. Tan of theta is equal to tan is opposite over adjacent. And our opposite over adjacent is 3 over 4. 3 over 4 and we are having the same result. So now, after knowing this, there is something very important in this trip we need to know which is the spatial angles um, spatial angles is very important very very important spatial angles spatial so the non spatial angles are angle angle 30, angle 60, and angle 45. These are the main spatial angles we know. So this angle 30, 60, and 45, they are having a constant uh, values of their trigonometric ratio. That is sine 30, cos 30, and tan 30. They are having their own spatial values without using calculator or any uh, mathematical instrument so now let's see how they are now if we let's consider the two considering 30 and 60 if I have a right angle triangle having a right angle triangle we all we know that this is angle 90 if it sustain an angle 30 degree or let me say it, let's have um, a collateral triangle. Yes. If this is, let's say this is 30 and this is 60. Or let it be a collateral triangle with units, with one unit. Assuming we are having a collateral triangle, and in a collateral triangle, we know that all the angles are 60. All the angles are 60 because it is equal. When you calculate all the angles, 60 plus 60 plus 60, you are going to have total of 180, which is the sum of angle in a triangle. So having, um, it is with two, given it with, with, let me use two units, two, 
two units. All is two units. So if I divide it into two, here is 90 degree. Dividing 60, we are going to have 30. If here is, if we divide here into two, so this one will be two, and this one will be one also. This one is 30. So now let me, since the, we are having two different uh, right angles to right angle, and they are all, sorry, not different, two equal right angle to right angle, I can consider only one. Let me cut in half of it and consider only one of it. So considering this one, an angle like this, now we need the opposite of 60 and hypotenuse of 30. Applying Pythagoras rule, we have our hypotenuse square, which is equal to adjacent square plus opposite square. This is pole minus 1, which is equal to adjacent square. And adjacent is equal to 4 minus this root of 3. So this imply here is root of 3. So this triangle here is the triangle to find the values of the trigonometric ratios of 30 and 60. Now let's see it. If we take angle 30, now sine 30, opposite, here is our 30, where is the opposite of 30 here? And this is the hypotenuse because it's the side facing the 90. Opposite, which is 1 over 2. Now cos 30. Cos adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent of 30 is this, hypotenuse is this. We have the 3 over 2. Then tan 30, which is opposite over adjacent. 1 over root 3. 1 over root 3. This is for 30. Whenever we are asked the values of sine, cos, or tan of 30, these are the values. 1 over 2, the 3 over 2, and 1 over the 3. Now angle 60. The sine of 60, this is our 60. This is the opposite of 60, this is our hypotenuse. Opposite is equal to root of 3 over hypotenuse is 2. Then cos 60, cos adjacent over hypotenuse. Here is the adjacent. Here is the hypotenuse. We have 1 over 2. Then tan 60 is the same thing as tan opposite over adjacent. Root 3 over 1. It is equal to root 3. These are the constant three ratio of sine and uh, of angle 30 and angle 60 degree, which is very, very important. The next one is angle angle 45. Let's see how it is. Angle 45. So, having a right angle triangle with one unit. If here is 90. If I have 45 here, here must be 45. Because it is in, in, in angle 45. Uh, 45, we consider an isosceles triangle, yes? Oh, you can with angle 40. Here yeah, is also 40, because 40 plus 40, 90 plus 90, 180. So, let's assume it is having one, one unit, because if here is 45, here is also 45. If here is N, here must be N. Now, let's consider it with one unit one unit then we need this applying Pythagoras theorem you are going to have root of 2 here so this is the triangle right angle triangle of angle 45 one here one here you can take any side here or here as your angle anyone because it is having the same unit so let me take the down one so in 45 sine 45 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse that is 1 over root 2 cos 45 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse 1 over root 2 the last one which is tan 45 
is equals to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1 over z over adjacent. So these three special angles are very, very important. The only important thing, the main important thing here is for you to know how to make your diagram, how to make the angle, how to make the angle of 30 and 60, how to make the angle of 45. Then if you know how to make the angles, you will make it easy to get the angles. So now, let's let's see one example under the special angles. Then we move on to uh, what we call quadrants. Let's assume we are to find example. Find without using table the value of sine 30 plus time plus uh, let me turn this turn 60 or turn yes turn 60 Assuming we are asked to find the values of this without using table. Without using table here means without using calculator. Or in some cases, you might, ask, you, might be, you, may, you might be asked to find the value of this in sort form. All is the same thing. Whenever you see this, you don't need calculator. Because even if you use calculator, you're not going to have the same answer as we are going to have. Because the answer we are going to obtain here must be in sort form, not in decimal form. So here, just go to the previous work we did. What is sine 30? Sine 30 is just 1 over 2. Plus, what is tan 60? Tan 60 is root 3. So simplify by finding the LCM. The LCM here is 2. You're going to have 1 plus 2 root 2. That's all. Sorry, 2 root 3. 2 root 3. This is the answer. We don't need it in... In, in decimal form, but we need it in sort form. Now, the next thing is, let's see the next important thing under this trigonometric, which is very, very, very important. We call it quadrants. 